Eyeballing another storm. There it is on the map, showing some snow in the mountains, the west central section of the state. This one's coming in more from the west, which basically means, I think for Pocatello Falls, it'll be a little bit warmer than the last storm. So we're looking at a chance of rain if we ain't see any precipitation at all. There is a remote possibility of maybe seeing some snow mixed in with that rain along the bench areas, the Gate City, maybe down around the Gap, and certainly farther south, it will be all snow. And looks like Idle Falls, Rexburg could see some snow, but liquid precipitation, probably a better bet for us, at least down low. Now for the mountains, it's a different story, especially for the Tetons. They're under a winter weather advisory. The mountains around Jackson itself, anywhere from two to four inches of snow. This advisory goes in effect here in a, what, about three hours or so, eight o'clock this evening. We'll run until about eight o'clock tomorrow morning. So if you're traveling, say, Victor, over the hump, Teton Pass down into Wilson, it's going to be a rough go again, so be extra careful. You may want to wait until later in the morning. The white areas at Star Valley, Afton, Alpine, uh, of course, Jackson Hole, they're going to see anywhere from one to four inches. They're not included in this advisory, but uh, definitely accumulating snow for that neck of the woods. And for our mountains, we could see some accumulating snow as well. But for the rest of us, at least in the Snake River Plain, it's a chance of rain later tonight. And you can see why it'll probably be more rain than anything, with low temperatures staying well above freezing. 37 for low in Pocatello tonight. Last night it was 30. So yeah, definitely a warmer night in the forecast. Idle Falls, 35. A little better chance maybe in Rexburg, St. Anthony, and try to see that snow mix in with the rain. 34 expected in St. Anthony. Stanley, cold enough for it to be all snow, so chances of snow for all areas for the central portion of the state, 26 in Chalice, 30 in Salmon. We'll certainly see that snow really try to accumulate north of Salmon over Lost Trail Pass. So FYI, if you live up around North Fork, or even farther north, it's probably going to be another winter wonderland. Of course, probably still is, but we'll be adding more snow to the ground. Snow in the forecast for the Upper Highlands, Western Wyoming. As you know, it doesn't snow evenly around here, so anywhere from a trace to an inch expected in Island Park, uh, Driggs, Dubois, Jackson, Afton, one to four inches, Yellowstone, maybe over five inches by the time it's all said and done. We got snow for the Southeast Highlands, anywhere from a light dusting, which is a trace to about an inch. So income, lava, you're included in that. Preston and I could see some accumulating snow. Wouldn't be surprised if it starts off as rain there. And then tomorrow, a chance of that snow lingering in the morning. High temperatures still only in the 40s, still cooler than usual for this time of year. We got snow in the morning in the upper highlands. I think we'll see a little bit of sunshine though in the afternoon. We'll call it partly sunny, dry during the daylight hours, at least in the central mountains. High temperatures lowered upper 40s, almost 50 in Salmon, and we'll hit 50 tomorrow in the Snake River Plain, at least in Pocatello, just a couple degrees behind that in Idle Falls. We'll call it partly sunny. It'll be starting off cloudy in the morning. And then as the day wears on, we'll see more of that blue sky. Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast. Here's the next one on Wednesday. Could be a rain snow combo, a break. Yeah, look at that Friday. Ooh, heat wave 56 by Saturday. Definitely a much uh, nicer weekend ahead than the one we just wrapped up. Teton area seven day forecast. We have snow tonight, tomorrow morning. More snow Wednesday, a break. Our next chance of snow could bring with it rain on Monday. But we're dry this weekend, so good weekend to be traveling for the Central Mountains. Same thing, wintry mix perhaps Wednesday, and then dry weather as we finish off the week, finish off the month of October, as a matter of fact, last day of the month on Monday, a chance of rain.